One minute of silence for the victims in Israel, in Palestine, and also in Belgium and France following terror attacks in both. That's how this virtual extraordinary summit of EU leaders began on Tuesday, as they aim to fix a common position on the Israeli-Hamas war after a week of contradictory messages. And it's now clear that even if the 27 member states support Israel, there's still room for criticism. When uh, we, you cut the basic infrastructure, when you cut, you cut uh, access to water, when you cut uh, electricity, uh, we don't, when you don't, if you don't allow uh, food to, uh, uh, to be uh, delivered, this is not in line uh, with the international law. A common statement issued on Sunday came after European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen went to Israel last week, where she was accused of failing to urge Israel to act with constraint. The humanitarian aid for Palestine was also at the centre of controversy when a single commissioner announced its suspension alone. It's now clear, though, that Europe will continue sending humanitarian aid to Palestinians, even more so by tripling it. It is Hamas who are the terrorists, not the Palestinian people, so we have to care for the Palestinian people and their humanitarian needs. There is no contradiction in standing with Israel in solidarity and acting for the humanitarian needs for the Palestinians. The 27 heads of state and government also discussed future challenges, among them avoiding a regional escalation of the conflict and preventing a rise in extremism in Europe. They're also calling on Hamas to immediately and unconditionally release all hostages.